lands and people, now connected by love. Hello everyone, did you have a good old neighbor, Nikki can frozen into a no of time to die, fan to that one y'all, and welcome to another amazing video, and I am completely angry at YouTube because literally, I was going to post my Enchantus 2 trade reaction, but nope, YouTube was not okay with that, and they, and you know what they did? They gave me a copyright, which honestly, I'm not going back and forth to do a freaking Enchantus 2 trade reaction, and post it, and YouTube give me copyright, I post it, YouTube give me a copyright, which honestly, that copyright rule, it needs to stop. It needs to stop. I am tired of it. So, so, um, are you telling me that I will, I will do a Crocodile trailer more than doing a Disney tra trailer? For God's sake, this is Disney content. Disney, come on, man. So, yeah, I'm just going to blame on Mickey Mouse because Mickey Mouse is so greedy. So, uh, now I have to do three trailer review. Such a boring content I could do. But anyway, I'll, I'll try my best to make more entertaining. But just don't blame Disney. Just blame YouTube. YouTube, just get yourself together. You don't know what uh, you don't know what the monkey are you doing. Because all you do is like making my YouTube more terrible. And you're trying to make my videos boring. Nobody wants to see my videos boring. So, I'm just really getting sick and tired of this YouTube nonsense. So... So honestly, people, I'm not going to quit on YouTube because honestly, I really enjoy making review, rant, top 10, reaction, and etc. Anyway, so I really hope to God I will, I will not give a... Honestly, I'm probably from now on, I won't do any Troy reaction of any Disney project. I'm probably not the problem, so just don't blame um, on Disney. Just blame YouTube because YouTube don't know what the monkey they doing. So yeah. And sorry, guys. So today, I'm just do. I'm, so today, I am doing a three trailer review of Enchantress 2, Hocus Pocus 2, and I got off a piece of crap, which is the Little Mermaid live action remake. So yeah, let's start to the positive, and I will start and and I will start to the negative last. So yeah, now we'll start the first trailer that one that started it all of 2007, which is none other than Enchantress. We got a first look of the trailer of in. Of this enchantment. This is the one trailer I really want to do a trailer reaction. But no. YouTube is being so peaky. Being so stupid. Like always. It gave me a copyright for this crap. So. I would never forget you YouTube. So. This, this copyright will always need to stop. Anyway. Let me tell you my thought on this trailer. This is only one of my most anticipated November movie of 2022. And this is only one of my third most anticipated movie of, of 2022 next to Blonde and Avatar 2. This movie will look like a really great Enchantress movie. But even this movie is not going to be as good as the first movie. But overall, I think this trailer is a really worth a wait. And I cannot wait to see the second trailer of this movie came out on Thanksgiving. So I really hope... Honestly, yeah, so, well, so let's hope this uh this new trailer will be released on Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade because honestly, I really hope they have a Enchantress balloon of Enchantress float to celebrate the celebrate of this movie. So yeah, I really hope. So I really hope this movie has to ha has some good reviews. I mean, there's no surprise. I'm probably in some times one is going to hate this because, but come on, Minzy is in this movie. AKA Elsa is going to be in this movie. So that was, that that's pretty cool. And so, yeah, and, and also, I really like the idea that they are taking the main character from Enchantress and make her as a witch. I really like her. Um, honestly, I really like that because I always really wish that Main Wendell was going to be the villain of this movie. But Amy on a, of this movie, she's going to be the villain of this movie, which honestly, I am really so curious what she's going to take as the villain. She's a witchy witch. So, honestly, if you see her witch work, that is not a good sign at all. <laughs> 
And sorry guys, and maybe tell you my thought on the chance of 2007. This is honestly one of my favorite movies of 2007. That movie is, and honestly, that movie is way better than Shrek the Third and Spider-Man 3. Those three movies, uh, those two movies were kissed by butt on it. Anyway, and that's my thought on the Disenchanted trailer. I am so looking forward to this movie, and this is going to be the best Thanksgiving treat I ever got from Disney. So, hey guys, now let's get to the Nether trailer review. It has to be the Hocus Pocus 2. I was planning to go and do a trailer reaction for this movie because, honestly, copyright wall. What do you expect? And so, yeah. Oh, hold on a minute. I'm just going to sneeze. Hold on a minute. Oh. <laughs> that's the close one. Oh, man. Sorry, guys. Let me tell you my thought on the official trailer to of Hocus Pocus. This trailer looks absolutely okay. It's not going to be the best Hocus Pocus movie. I think the first movie is going to be even better than the sequel. Which, honestly, this will, um, uh, um, um, because honestly, this movie is, um, this movie is just like your generic movie with the unnecessary sequel that people, that people didn't ask for. Because, um, because, like, seriously, who asked for Hocus Pocus 2? Raise your hand. None. Well, guess what, Disney? You fail because I'm probably you want to make your cash, hatch, uh, cash, cash grab, make a sequel of this movie, and I don't understand why Disney like to do that type of bull crap nowadays. <laughs> And sorry guys, and the humor was not really that good because the scene when the uh, blonde girl, which is my favorite character of the Hocus Pocus universe, she was doing dee, 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 with her foot. Yeah, that is not funny at all. That is not funny. That is not comedy goal right here. And honestly, people, the here's not one reason I, I'm I'm gonna hate this. It had to be the human characters. OMG. The kid I am starting to hate the kid now. I definitely agree with Frozen, but this has got to be one of the, um, and this has has to be one of the worst written kids characters I have ever seen in my life. This is um, honestly, the kids character, this make um, this make the Gallows more masterpiece than ever. Even I do not like the Gallows because the Gallows stopped with the kids actor, and now this movie is starting the kids actor. Honestly, can you please? Hollywood, can you please stop making a kid's character as a main character? Not stupid. Anyway. And the story was completely messy, so overall, I think the trailer is okay. And this is going to be the okay birthday present I ever got from Disney. Like, come on, Frozen 3. Just, just announced Frozen 3 already, okay? Okay, good. And so, yeah, and here's our last trailer review fast when I am going to do. It has to be that God Awful, the Little Mermaid trailer, which honestly... This trailer is god awful, man. I hate this trailer. This trailer make Artemis Fowl more masterpiece than ever. And this could be the worst Disney movie I have ever seen in my life. I cannot believe why I just waste my time watching this trailer. I, I After I watched the trailer of this movie, I cannot believe why with the monkey I just watched. Anyway, anyway, guys, well, even the visual look absolutely glorious. And for God's sake, look at Ariel. That is not Ariel. How in the heck that, that they didn't give Zendaya as Ariel? She can have red hair. She can sing. Have you not seen The Great Showman, Disney? I'm probably they say, you know what? Screw Zendaya. Let's cast the black girl because we need racist and gay people in our movies. Disney, this is the main reason why you're getting hate. Can you please stop with the racist and the gay stuff? It's really getting really annoying. And first, I was really, you know, and as their business, they could do whatever they want. But after I saw this, and I was like, you know what? This movie made Cat 2.0. This is really like Cat, uh, honestly. This is literally like a Disney version of Cat. Look at this. I cannot wait to see people's reaction for this. Anyway. Anyway, well, even the visual work is absolutely amazing, but everything is so stupid. The story is stupid, and the, and the scene is stupid. The part of the war, I cannot believe why they ruined my favorite song of this movie. Uh, the part of the war is honestly one of my favorite songs of The Wooden Mermaid. Honestly, my thought on The Wooden Mermaid is a, such a epic, brilliant masterpiece, and even this movie has some one neg uh, um, non-negative, so yeah. <laughs> and I was never going to like this movie, and I cannot wait to see... Uh, Yushua, aka Marissa Coffee Design, which honestly, I am going to wipe my butt off if I see, um, when I see Marissa Coffee as Yushua. Who in the white might want to cast Marissa Coffee as Yushua? It's kind of like, I mean, you want to cast Kim Kardashian as the female Captain Hook. And Disney will not be stupid enough to do that. Just like, um, just like MCUs want to have Kim Kardashian 
in the MCU. Why not you have Max from Stranger Things will be in your MCU? Come on, MCU. Get your crap together, man. So, yeah, I am losing hope for this Disney, man. I am really getting sick and tired of this racist and gay stuff, John C. I am, um, so, yeah, as far as I was saying, you know what, as Disney, they can do whatever they want. But, after this, I'm just getting tired of racist stuff. Mickey, we just stop being racist for one. This is really getting really annoying, and I'm getting sick and tired of it. And so, yeah, screw this trailer. Screw the actress who's going to voice up Ariel. And screw this movie in the behind. And this is honestly one of my... Um, and this is honestly one of my second least anticipated movie of 2022, uh, 2023. And for God's sake, Troll 3 will be even worse than this movie. So yeah, that was my trailer review of Indisenchantus, Hocus Pocus 2, and a stupid rule, um, and a stupid, um, The Little Mermaid, which honestly, you know, really give me a monkey about it. And sorry guys, tell me what you thought on this trailer in the comments section below. I'm very sorry I didn't do a trailer yash of it. And so yeah, and here's so many trailer, I'll do a review of every single Disney trailer, it came out a D23. I cannot wait to see a trailer 2 of an Avatar 2. I cannot wait to see it. I cannot wait to see a first work of Indiana Jones. So I really hope so. I really hope they don't release a trailer for Mephiset 3. So I'm not excited for Mephiset 3. It's stupid. And sorry guys. And I cannot wait. When I woke up in the morning. I cannot wait. Frozen 3 will get announced. If Frozen 3 get announced. I would say it's the best day ever because we need Frozen 3. We need Frozen 3 in the Walt Disney Animation Studio schedule. Please, get your, please Disney, get yourself together. Nobody want a Inside Out 2. Nobody want a The Lion King prequel. And nobody want a Cruella 2 and Jungle Cruise 2. All we want is Frozen 3. That's it. Or Encanto 3. I mean, Encanto 2. That's it. But Frozen 3... Just announce it, Disney. Just announce it. I am begging you, please. And so, yeah, if you like this magical world of Disney video, please hit the subscribe button, turn to the kitchen, and share with your family, like always. I'm very sorry, I just played that trailer reaction intro, which honestly, this is where we like a trailer review, so honestly, I'm part of that trailer. I'm part of that intro is gonna be every single video I feature trailer, so yeah. And so, yeah, guys, i see you next time, and so long again, peace, you Have a great night, everyone, and i see you guys tomorrow morning. Thank you.